Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Shark Pig's Porridge. Hello there. We have a face cam going now. Welcome to Viscera Cleanup Detail. This is going to be a pretty good one. Uh, it's been quite some time actually since we've played a game together. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to go to... No, we're not going to leave the blood for my colleagues. We're just going to go ahead and start work. I've tried this a couple of times on different levels. Um, just been trying to get the face cam to work properly. Uh, speaking of which, I do want to drop the master sound down to about 40. Okay. Let's try that. See how it works out for us, shall we? Now, I tried cryogenesis. Catechus was the first one I ever played on this game. Athena's Wrath. That sounds interesting. Let's try that one. So like I said, this game is called Viscera Cleanup Detail. Here is our opening sequence. My name is Sharkpig. I'm age 42. Not really. Occupation Junior Executive Janitor. Oh yeah. Brief. The company has got... An easy assignment lined up for you here in this sector. Mutated vegetation, the focus of the base that was being studied and biologically engineered in the Athena section or Athena station has escaped and wrought havoc upon the facility. You are to conduct yourself hastily and within company protocols as per your contract. Operations must be resumed within the facility as soon as possible, so you are to be thorough and professional or prepare to face the full extent of the company's legal department. They're always so threatening to me. I am the junior executive janitor. I have power here. That's what I tell myself in any job that I have. Right, so the aim of this game is to clean up after the person who uh, came in during the first person shooter. Think of it like Dead Space. If Isaac were to come through here and cut up all of the... what are they called? The, the mutant things. Exo whatevers. Uh, and then, you know, there's got to be somebody who's got to clean up the space station, right? That would fall to us. Shark Pig, junior executive janitor, age 42. And when I say we're going to clean things up, I'm not just talking about the blood, which can be pretty simply cleaned up with the mop, but I'm also talking about the legs, which I just tore off this poor man. I'm talking about his intestines. I'm talking about this can of Fat man. Um, and we have a few tools at our disposal at our disposal to do these sorts of things. One of which is the what a load disposal bins. Lovely yellow bins. Really, they are just as great as they sound. You throw stuff into the bin. You pick up the bin. You move the bin around. Simple as that. That is pretty much as base as it gets. You can pick up pretty much anything. It is a uh, it, is, it does run on the Unreal Engine. I can pick up this. I can pick up this. I can't pick up that though. But my gloves do make a wonderful little squeaky noise. Pick up that. Um, what else do we have? We have the incinerator. One of my favorite parts of the game. Pick up Mr. Torso, throw him in there, close it. In about one to five seconds, that torso is incinerated. There it is. We'll come back later and check on how it's doing. Oh, by the way, you can also throw a box in there if I wanted to. And that'll also be gone when we get back. Now, the other thing we have to worry about... Here's where this game gets frustrating. Now, this is a simulation game, mind you. If you've ever played actual simulation games like Forklift Simulator or uh, like Truck Driving Simulator, uh, you'll know that they can be pretty tedious. This game is really no exception. If I start cleaning up this blood, for instance, you can see how my mop has gotten all dirty and uh, I'm starting to leave more blood laying around. This is where the water bucket comes in. It should be a pretty awesome fix to that problem, right? I mean, you've got your bucket of water, you can just continue to go back to that same bucket of water, continue to just smash your mop against the wall, rinse it off, 
clean up the bloody footprints, which I left, by the way. That's another problem. If you uh, keep walking through blood and gore, you will track blood and gore. Now you can see this water's getting a little murky. Let's just finish cleaning up this alien blood. Alright, that water's about... that water's pretty dirty. Eventually, if I get this here... Still getting... nope, now you see it's not clean anymore. I can't actually rinse off my mop with it, so we just take the bucket over to the incinerator. Chuck it in. And you see the body and that crater gone, which is lovely. And I can just slosh a matic myself a new bucket. That's where the game gets pretty tedious. Um, I, I have never beaten one of these levels before. The object is to clean up all of the blood, all of the gore. I make it a personal objective myself to pick up all of this crap too and incinerate it. And literally just make this place spotless. And then you find the punch out area and you clock out for the day and then it gives you a score I think I've never actually gotten that far before like I said the game can be pretty tedious there's my punch-o-matic is that what it's called? yep punch-o-matic aerospace sanitation incorporated it's a little dirty Oop, that really didn't help matters at all El Fatso Crisps my favorite brand of chips uh, normally the levels are a little bit more exciting than this. I have to say this is actually kind of a boring level. It's an easy one. Uh, it's very small. Why don't we go ahead and uh, leave? We're going to return to the staff room. And let's try going to someplace a little more interesting. For instance... Unearthly Excavation. This is actually a pretty good one to sort of showcase how things really work. Now I'm 65. I'm a sanitation professional rather than a junior executive. And the story is a little bit different, but not nothing really noteworthy. Um, in this level, you can see there are some little extras. For instance, this medical unit here. We have to fill it with a med kit. Uh, we have more boxes, more gore. And a little twist down here is this little ground eater thing. Now, in this level, at this point, there isn't actually a incinerator. So how do we get rid of bodies and things? Well, we just use this guy to our advantage. Check that in there. If I remember correctly, though, he does tend to throw things up in the water. And that creates a bit of a problem. I, I really don't quite know how to advance in this level. I think there's an incinerator through there, but the door's locked. And there's where this game actually has sort of a puzzle element to it as well, because there are little story implements, like this right here, for instance. <clears throat> Mr. Frank Weasel, Miner. Since we broke into the main chamber, things have been getting really things have been getting really weird. One of the miners even killed himself with a drill. Worst part is the bastard owed me money. Everyone who first broke through is going mad. Fortunately, I was slacking off when they did. Seems like God is on my side. Let's hope he stays there. The chief has called in some sort of science team to take a look at the place. I gather he's not happy about it. I'm pretty sure I've seen some guy in overall sneaking around too. Oh, who knows? Uh, so in this particular level you have access to another tool which is the shovel and I can dig some sh dig some dirt throw it in the hole and you can see it's filling up down there I haven't actually filled this up all the way I'm gonna try and do it quick he doesn't sound too happy about it uh, this is I'm just doing this in sort of a hope to advance because 
I really have no idea how to uh, finish cleaning up this facility unless I actually have an incinerator, because this thing's just going to keep throwing up body parts and creating a big mess. We're going to keep filling this in. Is it? It's not doing anything anymore, I don't think. Oh, no, I just dug it back up. That's not what I want to do. And that's not doing anything anymore. Which is a bit of a shame. But, this has just been a little preview of this for cleanup detail. There's really not a whole lot more I can show you at this moment. They do updates pretty regularly on this game. I'm gonna try and get to that valve. I doubt there's anything there. Nope. Just the glorious sounds of my cleaning gloves. And if I jump inside here... Nothing. Fantastic. I did jump in there once, by the way, just for the record. It does eat you. Um, well, in that case, we can probably call it a video here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, please give me a like and a thumbs up. It really does help. Let me know how uh, you like the face cam and everything like that, if the sound quality is good. This is, it's been a while since I've made a video, I understand, so it, things are, uh, a little, they might be a little bit choppy. I am going to try and do a couple of videos with my brother, maybe. We'll see how that works out. In any case, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.